Hello everybody, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Bryce Young, and everybody here in the city of Memphis, in the Kansas City, in the state of Tennessee. If they they if they they it's January the second, two thousand seventeen, time three thirty six a.m. and uh, the music you hear in the background is uh, you know uh, radio station on the internet online. And, uh, it's, it's a combo, African nation combo. Uh, what FM eighty eight point four. Key shots, Democratic Republic combo. But uh, continue to keep myself employed right here in this Memphis Tri State here and I continue to further my education my own college on my own school, my social media study, business, like concentration, marketing, and all. Hope everybody has a happy new year, you know, enjoy you know, bringing in the new year. And, uh, you know, it's 2017, year 2017, 2016 in the past. And, uh, and so, Eric, we all. So we all got a lot to be thankful for to be here in 2017. So uh, for today's video, we're going to... Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it on live. I'm gonna do Facebook live today. Sign, uh, put the title, gotta put the title.
I'm saying hello to everybody on uh, Facebook Live. And uh, my name Eric D. Johnson, also known Bright Shine. And uh I'm gonna wish everybody, everybody, you know, happy new year. Uh, like I said, uh, 2016 in the past. It's 2017. And uh, on today's video, we, we're going to continue to talk about um, African traditional religion. As you know, African traditional religion is being taught uh, in institutions of higher learning, meaning colleges and universities in sub Saharan Africa. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You earn a bachelor's degree, master's degree, a PhD, study African traditional religion. But before I get to that, uh, you know, uh, being that it's uh, celebrating New Year, I just want to do one thing. Now, being that it's the New Year, I want to make sure everybody see uh, non-alcoholic. This Welsh sponsoring you know, white grape. But as you can see, it says non-alcoholic. And, uh, you know, for the new year, No proposed toast. Wish everybody a happy new year. And no, uh, uh, we put 2007, 2016 to pass. And we're bringing in 2017. So there's a toast to myself, to everybody. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, as, as I was saying, um, African traditional religion, you know, uh, being taught, and which is very important because the, when you know the African traditional religion being taught in sub-Saharan Africa, the institution of uh, higher learning, uh, you don't have to have, you know, there's no need for nobody to be out on the street. Walking around trying to influence uh, individuals as if you know what you're talking about. African traditional religion is being taught at institutions of higher learning in sub Saharan Africa. Where is sub Saharan Africa? As you can see, this is a map. This is a land distribution map. Of the African continent in 
it shows you all the groups of people that live on the continent of Africa. It shows you all the uh, it shows you the languages that they speak and where they live. Now that blue color that represents the Afro Asiatic, <clears throat> the yellow color represents the Nile Saharan. The dark orange color it represents uh, the Niger Congo A. The light orange color represents the Niger Congo B. The Bantu. As you can see on the outside, it tells you what the color represents. That, that um, blue color represents the Afro Asiatic. The yellow color represents the Nilo Saharan. The orange, uh, the, the dark orange color represents the Niger Congo A, and the light orange color represents the Niger Congo B, the Bantu. Then green color that represents the Quay and the sand. Two groups of people. It represents two groups of people. The Quay people are the pastoralists. The sand people are the hunter-gatherers. The hunter-gatherers. Now, over there on the island of Madagascar, that purple lavender color, that's the Austronesians. The Austronesians are the people that live in Indonesia. People that live in Indonesia, they migrated or, you know, they, they left Indonesia. They settled and colonized. <coughs> They sell and colonize the island of Madagascar. They're not the original inhabitants of the island of Madagascar. Make sure I got my volume up sometime. Check. check the volume. Make sure the volume always up. Okay, uh, now this map is the Niger Congo language distribution map. Niger Congo language is primary branch, both of Congo, the South Bolt, Bantu, Bantu over side Bantu, the other East Bimu Congo, the West Bimu Congo, the Kwe, the North Bolt, Kru, Sanupo, Gert, both the languages, Adamant, and Ubundi language, your other primary branch, your Kordofan, your Mandi, your Anani, and your Dogon. <coughs> Now, this is another Niger Congo distribution map, language distribution map. Now, the Niger Congo languages, the just uh, uh, languages, Atlantic, Wolof, and Fule, the Mandi, Bambare, Malika, Manika, Dayule, the Kru, the Gur, more languages, uh, the Kwe, Bali, Akan, and Iwo, the Dogon, your Ajo, the Adaman, when you bunch your language, Jibaye, Banda, and Zandi, the Kordofani, the non Bantu, Yaruba, and Igbo, the Bantu, Fang, Tiki, Lengale, Mongo, and Kondu, Congo, Choki, Dube, Uganda, Rwanda, Rundi, 
to come back to come you. The band too, Swahili, Bakawi, and Young J, Bim Bang, Shone, Kisange, Lola Soto, Zulu, Southern Soto. Coast, Tiswane, and Dange, Umbundu. And there are many other Niger Congo speaking people that are not even listed here. 